Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Drunk Cosplayer Unboxing Show. <gasps> I just totally realized what I forgot. What? I forgot my boxes. That's probably. <laughs> one second. I got the alcohol though. That's also important. Okay, one second. <laughs> Hi, my name is Allie and these are my amazing friends. I invited them over to get drunk, have some fun, and help me open my mail. Let's see what's in store. The Drunk Cosplayer Unboxing Show! Yeah. <laughs> All right, so would you like to see what we are drinking today? Yes. Okay, so um, I don't know if you all have seen the Disney in Disguise group. That's us. That's part of it. Well, we're part, part, of, part of it. Yeah, so um, it was Shell's idea. Um, Michelle, Life of Shell. She's wonderful. She is. She is wonderful. She's up in the San Francisco Bay Area. And she invited us to be a part of her group for D23. And when I wanted to interview you, I was like, what can I wear? And I was like, this is... It's fantastic. almost Halloween. Yeah, it is. It's Halloween month. So, um, because we're Disney in disguise, look what I found. Oh my god. Incognito wine. That works so well. Isn't that perfect? So well. I was like, what am I going to do? There we go. So here's your glass. I will take that. Actually, maybe I should fill it up over here. And I should probably take off my jacket. Yes. For red wine? Red wine. Probably. Okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. Cheers! Yeah. Welcome to the show! Thank mm -hmm. you. Oh, it's very fruity. It is, it's really nice. Oh, yeah, smooth. Hmm. Alright, sweet. So, I am dressed as Han, um, or Elsa disguised as Han, and you are dressed as? Alice is the Queen of Hearts. Yes. And the other half of the This is so fantastic. I love it. You originally were actually going to design something else for the group, right? And ended up upon this and did it really quickly from what I remember, right? Yeah, I originally was going to be Cinderella as Lady Tremaine. Michelle and I kind of talked about it and we kind of decided that Lady Tremaine's dress wasn't really in fitting with all the other villains' outfits. Yeah. And so I went to clean up. I think it's so, so fantastic. There's so much detail in the the fabric is a really pretty choice too. Yeah, I, I was pretty happy with it. It was um, two shopping trips to the fashion district and some tears. There were some tears in this costume. <laughs> Lots of tears. Well, what struggles did you run into? I just did it in a very short amount of time mostly. Yeah. I stayed up till like 4 a.m. the night before D23. Both oh Scarlet Sparrow and I did. Sewing our costumes. So. That is that's pretty late. I have to say, I don't know how you showed up the next morning early on top of it. I was like totally dead inside. I was just like <laughs> hanging with it. Well, I was mostly just tired and kind of out of it. But yeah. It was still really fun. It was super fun. Yeah, it was also the last day of D23. Yeah. I'd never been to D23 before. That was so it was really yeah. it was interesting. Yeah, it's a whole nother con. It's so cool though that it's yeah. all Disney stuff. I think I'd ghost it next time though, maybe. Really? I don't think I'd buy tickets because we went in and like, for me at least, it was like you could buy a few things and you could look at things that you could buy five months in advance. To exactly. me, I was like, this isn't worth $50. I'd love to just cosplay and hang out with my friends outside. Yay, yeah, that sounds great. That's usually, I mean, what I prefer to do anyways, is yeah. spend time with the cosplay community and just hang out outside and just you know, do the dress up part of it. Yeah. Yeah, it's only every other year. Yeah, it's not too often, so I'll definitely... <laughs> Goodbye, Michael. <Luke. laughs> He's just gonna stay there. <laughs> I'm not picking him up again. He's just gonna go back down. Do you have any plans for the next D23? What you want to do? Because I know um, you do love and do a lot of Disney. Yeah, I really do. I love Disney stuff. I'm thinking... I may do Mary Poppins, but I may do that beforehand. I'm also thinking I might want to do the pink dress that um, Cinderella wears, because that, for even for me, was like the dress in that movie. I hated the blue dress in regards to the pink dress, and Cinderella was a big emotional thing for me. It was my grandma's favorite movie, and like I feel like that would be a really nice like memory thing as well. So that would be really cute. Plus, it's just pretty pink ball gown like ball gowns. Gowns. <laughs> yeah. yeah this is really good wine I know it really is this could be dangerous how much have you eaten today I ate some KFC on the way here <laughs> that was it so I ate like five pieces of chicken oh, so right. I mean yeah, like something. there was some there Something's was some right to land on that's yeah. good that was very good I was driving here and I was like if we're drinking I need to eat something otherwise like half a glass of it would be like so 
it's more fun that way, right? People are like, ooh, I can, I can feel it already. Yeah, I can feel it too, actually. <laughs> Besides Mary Poppins, um, which you love, and the pink dress, do you have any other like cosplay plans? For Disney or just in general? Because just yes, in probably on both of those. <laughs> I'm working on a couple different things right now. I'm getting my Black Widow costume back and going. I did her original, she was my like first major cosplay and my suit fell apart so I just bought a new suit that I'm going to do the adjustments to that I need to do to it and then I have a couple other things in the works that I literally can't think of any of them right now. <laughs> Hundred things going on at once. Exactly. Right? Yeah. I mean, I'm working on Dapper Day stuff. But... <gasps> Dapper Day. Yeah. You're going to Dapper Day. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Um, my mom and I are going together as Mary Poppins. She's gonna be Mary Poppins, and I'm gonna be Mrs. Banks with the vote for women's sash. Oh my gosh. I'm stuck. That is adorable. Yeah. That's fantastic. I um will be out of town. No. Yes. I know, but it's okay. Cause guess where I'm going? Where are you going? I'm going to Jurassic Park. <laughs> I'm going to Kauai, Hawaii. Yep. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that's better than Dapper Day. <laughs> Chill on the beach and go explore in the rainforest during the yeah, day. Yeah, I, I think that gives you a path to pass up Dapper Day for that. It's just like the one like week in which we could all kind of like get away. I'm excited to see your Dapper Day outfit. Yeah. That's adorable. It's gonna be What's fun. Mom? I know. It's so cute. It's her first Dapper Day. She's really excited. First time at Disney for her? No, no. Hey, she she's gone to Disney before. We went for like my 16th birthday, all my family and stuff, and then we went for my 21st birthday, and then we went for my whatever birthday was last year, so 24th. Nice. So, so you're fairly local, but not very. I live in the Santa Barbara area, Ooh, which okay. it's beautiful. Oh God, it's pretty, but. It's about two hours away from anything you want to do. There is a Ventura Comic Con, but it is the smallest, thing, you've smallest ever seen. thing you will ever see. Aww. It's adorable, and it's really fun actually, but it's uh, So you have to be really committed then to actually like be coming to conventions, and especially when you're working on a budget, you have a hundred other things going on, like to take yeah. time to travel and come down to Yeah, luckily for me, I have a lot of family in LA, okay. so I can like sleep here. Which makes it a lot better. <laughs> but um, it definitely takes a couple more hours of travel time, certainly, and kind of a lot more planning, I think. What are your like go-to cons? Because you got to be selective. I go to Kamikaze and San Diego Comic Con, and then after that, I really like Long Beach Comic Con. Mm -hmm. Anime Expo is the first con I ever went to, but I've kind of gotten back from going to Anime Expo for some reason. It's so busy. It's very busy. What, like 120 it, or 210 yeah. now? It feels it feels busier than, than Comic Con to me sometimes. It's weird. Like I didn't go last year, but I heard it was basically just a line con. Hmm. Like it was a line to get in and a line to get tickets and a line to get inside the hall and then a line to get into any of the panels and I'm good. Yeah. That's so frustrating. I I think I went inside once at Anime Expo. That was to take the schoolgirls over to the set, and that was it. That's such a good cosplay for that con, too. Yeah. It's it's so anime-based. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they love it. And they're like, oh my god, yeah, it's anime Disney yeah. princesses. Yeah. I also was a lot more into anime when I started cosplaying than I am now. I just kind of like got out of it a little bit. The nice thing about AX is that you really can cosplay whatever. Kind of, yeah. And just kind of mash it up and... Yeah, yeah, it's like San Diego, really. It, yeah. Like, people are just like, it was comics at one point, but now it's kind of wooden. So, Anime Expo, that was your first con ever. What year? Oh, uh, God. 11 <laughs> years ago? So, no, I was 14. So, that was 10 years ago. So, wow. 2006? Okay, so that was your first con, but when did you start cosplaying, like, right away? I technically was cos I cosplayed that first year. Um, I was Misa from Death Note. Okay. And like I was already like weird goth girl, so oh my god. It worked. And I just used my clothes. I bought fishnet gloves. It's the only thing I bought for that costume. And then I kinda took a step back for a little while and then didn't cosplay a lot. But I really started cosplaying probably about five years ago now. So and that was at San Diego Comic Con. Wow. Well how many cosplays do you think you have? Because five years, I mean I've 
Yeah, I've been doing this like two years and my closet's like... You'd think I have more than I do. <laughs> really? Because it's one of those things where um, when I first started cosplaying, a lot of my cosplays were based off of my hair color and I never bought a wig for that cosplay. Makes so now sense. that my hair is back to blonde, well, it's purple right now, but it was blonde and it will be blonde again. Like a lot of my cosplays that revolved around having like red hair, I couldn't do because I didn't have a wig for it. So I can't really use those ones. <laughs> and then there are some that like I wore once and then I got rid of. So I honestly, I have a lot of princesses. <laughs> Why do you have a lot of princesses? Well, I also run a princess company. No way. I am a co-owner of a princess company. So there are lots of princesses in my house. That's kind of how I started. Yeah. Yeah, just I happened to have the princess outfits and there happened to be a con and yeah. my friend happened to be in town and like, you should go with me. And I'm like, okay, if I'm up, it's a good way to do it. I mean, more bang for your buck with those yeah. costumes. Yeah, Expensive. definitely. This wig was like $175. Hello. It's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful wig, it's but amazing. it's like straight and has curls at the bottom with bangs. But I got $175 that hurt me inside. But it's fine. I get to use it for parties. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> what is your dream with your company? Like, what do you want to get out of it? For now, I, I just we really enjoy. I, I mean, I love kids. So I like working with kids. And then I get to dress up as a princess while working with kids. It's, it's the dream. In my first six months, I was just like flying under the radar. I was like, this is just hobby level money. I don't need to claim anything. Like, as yep. far as like, write out my um, LLC or anything yet, I can still put it under my acting side of things since I was technically acting in every single party. And then it got to a point where it's like, oh, things are happening more, okay. Yeah, I'll register my business and oh, things are happening more, I need more people, I need a receptionist, I need a bigger website. It just it continues it to continue grow. continue to grow, so we yeah. are definitely in the very starting segment, mm -hmm. so we're going to have to see kind of how we grow and see where we go from there. We're, we're fine. We're not stressed at all. <laughs> Enjoy it. Don't let it stress you. And like, that's what I say a lot about cosplay too. And yeah. People, I mean, kudos to you for staying up at 4am, but I like, I have my cutoffs where I'm just like... Sometimes it's just not worth it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like I love cosplay, but sometimes you just kind of have to take like a mental health step back and mm -hmm. like it's really worth it and then you can go for it and figure it out but yeah exactly I am all for group cosplays I'm all for like doing it on your own like I got a bunch of projects coming up where I am literally doing everything on my own mm -hmm. and there's good uh, there's good and bad to both sides yeah. of that where you have a bunch of the people who you're working with and then where you're just doing it on your own like you're only relying on yourself but then you have to keep yourself on track yeah like you are holding yourself accountable and yeah it gets a little stressful at times. You can, but also it gets stressful when you try to rely on other people. Yeah, it and gets it's out of your control. Cosplay can be really stressful. It can be really fun, but it can be very stressful as well. Yeah. Do you have any tips for like controlling stress? I know you touched on mental health a little bit. Try to do things before you have to do them. <laughs> Don't postpone everything like I do. I, I always end up at like 4 a.m. I always do. I hate myself, but I do it. Be aware of kind of your emotional well-being and stuff in it because I know there's a lot of negativity in it as well yeah and a lot of cattiness which I think is dumb we're all just people in costume we're like six-year-olds who are having fun like just accept it so you have um, the cosplaying which you do is hobby stuff mm -hmm. hobby level but you have your princess business which you just started running what else are you doing beyond that well, I go to college. I sew. I learn. I'm learning to sew. College level sewing. Wow. Yeah. Like what kind of classes? Um, right now I'm doing a lab where I sew for five and a half hours, and it's just fun. And then I also have a sewing with special fabrics class. They're amazing. Like chiffon, like how to sew a chiffon. What yeah. To use what foot to use. Exactly. To and also nice. like you know how to do beaded fabric and not break your needle. What was it? Eight times. I did that. <laughs> I've done that before. So lots Eight of fun times. learning. Yeah, okay. it's good to know those things because <laughs> eight times is a lot to change your needle. There was one stitch where it just went down and it broke immediately right after I changed it, and I was like, "But why? Why do you do this? Can you bring in personal projects?" I can. <gasps> oh my god! It's amazing. 
That's so cool. And then I have a teacher who I can just be like, hey, I don't know how to do this. And she'll be like, here. And I'm like, yes, that's the best. Yeah, it's sewing pretty fairy. Cool. Exactly. Yeah. She is. She's a sewing fairy. So I get a lot done there. And then I also nanny. That's my that's my day job. Oh yeah. And you're a real life Mary Poppins. To a certain extent. Although yeah. many kids tell me I'm the best babysitter ever, so I accept this. Because I face pain. Oh my god. This one is so yummy. It is so yummy. I don't mind something. You want some more? I'll take a little more. Oh. That more? Yeah, it's good. Okay, good. I shall. I know, I was just wondering about that. <laughs> Would you like to open yours first or me first? What do you think? You first. I know more about Tubby Office sources. That's a hard thing to say when you're tipsy. <laughs> Woohoo! So we got a Walking Dead theme box. That yeah. seems applicable, appropriate. And I'm getting tipsy. So do you watch? I uh, oh. not really. I watched the first like full season, and it got to some a point where like a girl wanted to commit suicide because her sister died, and I was like, you know, I'm out. This is too dark for me. This is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I don't know who this is. It's terrifying. Have you seen that? No. It looks like he has a little skin face oh my mask gosh. on his face. Ew. Not seen a chat. I've not seen that movie either. I'm not a big horror person. Me I like zombies. Let's see here. Oh, oh good. Looks like they have it on my side. Oh, that looks actually kind of small. Maybe it'll stretch. Well, it looks about right. It seems a little morbid. That's also slugger. <laughs> like. That's awful enough. and yeah, exactly. I know enough to know that that's really morbid. Look at the smile on his face. I feel like yeah. a lot of people love this shirt a lot. My dad's a big fan. Uh, My boyfriend is a big fan too. I like, I just don't care. <laughs> it's bad. Can you Crystal, Crystal Lake. Lake. Okay. okay. I get no, that. You know yeah. natural horror enough to know. Yeah. Regrettable super villains? Oh my gosh, how perfect. That's amazing. So we're dressed as villains. We are evil, just like the people in this book, but they are regrettable. This is like classic. This is cool, classic comic super villains. Dr. Dracula. That's amazing. <laughs> the death ray will conquer the world. Oh my gosh. That's these amazing. Funny glove chopsticks. That's hilarious. So, my friend um, Madeline Masquerade loves Freddy. Yeah, and, and her birthday perfect stuff. just came up, so I think she will love those. Yeah, that makes sense. Halloween pin. Yeah, yeah. Classic. Solid. Classic. You know, his mask in that is a spray painted white um, uh, Kirk from Star Trek mask. Oh my gosh. That's it's hilarious. It's literally just a 19, like. 60s or 70s Kirk mask that's just been spray painted white. Budget. Budget. It's terrifying, so I give them props. Yeah. Loot Crate Magazine. Okay, this is what they just go through a little thing and, and see what it is. I like to flip through these because we usually see our friends. Oh, look at that. Deadpool underwear. I wear boxers and pajama pants sometimes. They're super comfy. Yeah, comfy man all the way. Huh. I've never opened a Loot Crate before. This was uh, <sighs> interesting. That's terrible. Oh I gosh. didn't see the bottom of the box until you gasped. That's the mask we saw. Set in your window, your roommate's window. That'd be hilarious. We'll do that. What? We're not doing anything. Right? Nothing. Okay. Open your thing. Open your thing. I shall. Um, uh, yeah. Please take that. A little easy open task. Easy. I'm getting hungry. It's hot too. It is hot. And what is? If we're in October, why is it like still so lighting up LA. So this is loot wear, so hopefully it's something I can actually use. What is it? What is it? It's a pizza purse. Oh my god! The Teenage Mutant Ninja Cheap Pizza Purse! Ah, that is hilarious. That's amazing. Pretty fantastic. It's got a full chain. That's amazing. You like Teenage Mutant Ninja? You know, my brother Ninja. really liked it, but I never got into it, unfortunately. That it is. even has little turtle shells as like pepperoni. Fantastic. Those are sausages. Oh, they're sausages. Well, they look like turtle shells. 
Yay! That was really cute and fun. I'm hungry though. Before we go, um, where can people follow more of your adventures? I am on Instagram and Facebook at Quirky Girl Cosplay. Quirky with a Q. Quirky. 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 My mom says I'm quirky. That's where okay. I came from. That, I was asking that in my brain, but it wasn't coming out. I understand. <laughs> That's how most of my life is. <laughs> All right, well, thank you all so much uh, for tuning in to another episode. We hope you had fun, and um, thanks so much to Loot Crate for the awesome boxes and all the fun stuff. And to this delicious wine. I will take more of this. Incognito. Ah, so it's, 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 it's